And if you want a linguistic adventure, go drinking with a Scotsman. Because you can't fucking understand them before. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Trans Trenders Podcast. You sounded I'm awfully European right there. That's not a Fuck good Europeans. look on this podcast. This is the Trans Trenders Podcast, by the way. I'm Digi. Well, I thought this was uh, insufferable social media arguments. No, no, we we lost that war ages ago. Who are you? Um, Maddox. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, tell but me, the- did Maddox lose again, or did Maddox win? Uh, we we have to know what were the results of the previous episode. Uh, all right, oh, the previous episode. I wanted to ask a question though, but we'll do that right after the results. The first question we asked was Twitter shadow banning slash blacklisting. Is it good or bad? Diddy, you said having a blacklist is bad because slavery is supposed to be a choice. I said. Twitter having a blacklist isn't bad because it's the social media equivalent of blackpeoplemeet.com. Third option was, it's good. Kick off all Europeans to make almost no more arguments ever. Mm. Which do you think won? They're all really great arguments. I hope I won. Well, your hope is correct. If you added both European and mine, I still wouldn't win. Damn. I fucking cleaned (laughs) You got 18... Yeah, you yeah you got eighteen votes, and the other got eight and six. I'll take a drink to that. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be drinking too much just yet. Okay. <laughs> Who is the most immoral group of them all? Now, I I said UN is the most immoral group because it's full of pedophiles while being hypocrites. You said transbians are the most immoral group of them all. Because they want to have the ultimate privilege bingo. And then the last one was <laughs> Europeans, uh, number one cause of all discourse and problems in the world. It was the Europeans. <laughs> they did. No. <laughs> the order. <laughs> the order was. The U. Goddamn. The order was the UN is the most immoral group of them all because it's full of pedos while being hypocrites. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's like objectively true. Actually, uh, there is one person that DM'd me an even crazier group. I'll say it right after the votes. Europeans. Did the, did the FBI tweet about them yesterday and release like a document about them? <laughs> I guess. It said Europeans, number one uh, cause of all discourse in the world was the second. So both of those topics beat yours. <laughs> and then, yeah. But uh, the second one was by one vote. 17, 6, and 5. Okay, so someone did DM me to tell me what the most immoral group of them all were. The true most immoral group is humans. I mean, I don't know. Because humans actually have laws against rape. Most animals just Not rape. All. Uh, not all, but like most animals just rape. They just don't care. No, I mean, not all worlds have laws against rape. <laughs> That's actually not a, a 100% thing around the world. <laughs> no, I, I know, but like some humans have laws against rape. No animals have laws against rape. Yeah. I mean, the unbased ones have laws against rape. That's true. And that's only humans, which I guess makes us the most immoral group because oh, so the mo- more soy you are the <laughs> the more immoral you are i guess that makes sense actually all right then what is the most ideal life this one we had in a three-way tie wow. at one time but it's no longer that digi you said the most ideal life is death yes i said dating a bodiless hand and having a peaceful life and then the last one for there to be no more Europeans, and Europeans should be your bleeding. Change Europe <laughs> to your rope. <laughs> 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 <laughs 
Which do you think won? I hope you'll rope one. <laughs> I wished. Damn. I was actually wishing for that one. <laughs> what was it? Uh, sadly, Europeans was dead last. The number one is the most ideal life is death. <laughs> oh, thank God. I'm taking a drink to that, too. <laughs> I seem to be ahead right now. Yeah. It wasn't that way the first week. If we did the recording, I would have won. Damn. Actually, would have tied, but still. Because uh all my other stuff when when what's it called? When I was winning, I think uh the when not when we were tied, I th- was the, gonna say the tiebreaker should be the second argument and see if my second argument could beat yours out. And which it did sometimes, and the fact that it tied with the other one should be uh, all a right. Point I'm to hearing, me. I'm hearing all kinds of fucking excuses. Did you lose or win? Was there fine? A you win. All right. Nah. Okay. And then Digi Day based or space? You got based by one point, thirteen to twelve. Wow. And then the unknown Taku based or space? I got based by three points. Okay. Fourteen so to eleven. I was, I was a little bit more space than you probably overall. But uh, we were both based. All right, well, for the Boozer Loser, I currently have half of a solo cup full of rosé red wine. So you can pour yourself half a solo cup worth of something and then just drink it all immediately. Half a cup. Oh, well, that went all over my hand. (laughs) I've been doing this a bit. Erotic slurping action for the listeners. If you wanted to hear the Anonotaku slurping ASMR. I forgot to get the can. That sounds like more than half of a red solo cup's worth of pouring. I mean, to be fair, I don't use red solo cups because I just have a whole bunch of glass cups that I reuse. It sounds like it's the size of a stein or something. It sounds massive. Well, it, I have only massive cups because I drink massively. I don't know. <laughs> well, this is we all pray uh, that you Okay, to give live. you an idea. Thank you for how... not killing yourself. Uh, we... Not yet. Holy shit. I'll just wait until we get to the slow motion suicide, <laughs> which was supposed to be first. Yeah, I realized that right after I said it. And then I was like, well. I just went with it. Yeah. Um, what's it called? Yeah, this is about a whole fist of... So if you took my fist, that is how much alcohol that is. Okay, it sounded like more than it is. Maybe it was just a. Well, no. What I'm saying is, um, this is also um, like thirty three percent, something like that. Okay. So it's quite a lot. All right. Well, down the hatch. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> that did not sound like it went well. No, I've been drunk all week. Okay. <laughs> and I did a bit of drinking before this. Well, I am twisted. Do we want to talk about how we're killing ourselves this week? Slow motion suicide? Is it time? Chester? <coughs> yeah. Chester, will you sing to me? Thank you, Chester. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, <laughs> so... This week, how am I killing myself? I'm uploading anime content to YouTube. Oh, that did not feel good at all. <laughs> Huge mistake. Uh, you know, you you put something up that people tell you to make every day. They're like, this is all we want you to do is this thing. And you say, okay, I'll do that thing for you. And then you do it. And then YouTube tells you, you can't do that. And you say, why? And they say, I don't know. Uh, and you're like, wait. Hold on. Don't leave. Daddy, don't leave! And then YouTube takes all your fucking money away and then you kill yourself because you have you you are like, "Wow. I I fucked up bad. I tried to do things for other people when I should have just been doing things for myself." Um uh, and that's how you end up dead. One second. I think I drank it way too fast. <laughs> I'll be right back. This is ASMR, the Anonotaku Vomit stream. This is the dark episode. The one where it's like a little bit slower. 
they seem a little bit more like on edge, a little bit more frenzied than usual. The insight spiking, you know, yeah, gaining more frenzy meter by the second. Coughing and imbibing, drinking deep of the cup of Satan. We today will have our bread. Are you okay? My body. F- Did you throw up? Yeah, my body flat out rejects alcohol, pure alcohol. Well, what the fuck did you, what did you have, what was that that you drank? I kept, I kept the crowd entertained while you were gone. So you'll, (laughs) you'll have some bonus uh, things to listen to when you listen to this back. Oh man, I was just going to delete that. No, uh, the way you should, you should leave it in. Yeah, I can't. Oh, what's it called? I li- I should have had my Dr Pepper ready to balance it out. I can't drink pure alcohol. Well, Ugh. thankfully you're alive and with us today, Ugh. and we can put a stop to that ASAP <laughs> by telling us <laughs> how you're going to kill yourself this week. Oh man, Ugh. I didn't puke it all up; just a little, only a little came up. Um, let's see, my slow motion suicide. I've been playing a game. Now, I know my last time was playing that game. And, you know, I talked about, you know, 10 hours and whatnot. Fuck that. I was wrong. My new updated version of Slow Motion Suicide of why I wanted to kill myself is not that it took me one week of, like, 10, 12 hours a day every day. No, no, no. The very first day, I put in 16 hours. And then I looked at it saying, this is not enough. I am not going to make it. And so, what's it called? Because my guild refused to help me. So, what I did, there's a whole bunch of complicated shit that happened, which I'm probably going to talk about later, on why my guild did not help me and all that shit, and why it made it so fucking hard. Does it have to do with cancel culture? Actually, no. Okay. But, Does it have to do with sexual misconduct? No. Hmm. Trust me. None of them I would ever be sexual with. They're all like 45 plus years old. Does it have to do with skill level? Oh, hell no. Because if that was true, then they would just be uh, against the people of high skill level. (laughs) (laughs) Well, what's the contention? What could they possibly not? What could they possibly have a problem with? It was more so, uh, what's it called? The fact of how rich I was inside the game. Okay, so they're hating ass motherfuckers, is what you're saying. Uh, I've theorized many reasons, but this is probably the most logical that I've seen so far. Is there's one of two reasons? Uh, either that, or they're just so annoyed on how much I talk about meme specs inside the game and how they could possibly be viable and how they can be used. But one of the things is with my money, I would do in the game is that I would constantly be buying people out uh something like uh it's like oh hey i finally wanted no nixie a hide bag and i'd be like Psst, i'll buy it from you why don't and then you need to translate this skill that you have into real life instead of buying bags and wow buy bags in crypto like this is this is how you become a, you think i don't do you have millions of dollars close really how do i get some of that <laughs> I'm, just I'm, I'm not i'm not i'm not to millions just yet uh but i do pretty much run this entire server let me know if you're uh, interested okay, in to, to, investing to give you a hint. In project okay that I'm working okay on. hold on hold on <laughs> to give you a hint majority of the people on this side in this server 
do not have their epic mount, which costs about a thousand gold. In fact, most of them talk about after they got their epic mount, they have not seen 500 gold since. Mm -hmm. This mount that I was farming for costed 20,000 gold. But you have all this fucking money in crypto and you you spend it on playing (laughs) WoW? Like, what the fuck? (laughs) Buy a hooker. Uh, uh, Nah, I don't need to buy a hooker. Oh, okay. Well, what's it called? I mean, when you got that kind of money, I guess you don't. Mm Mm-hmm. But what's it called? Yeah, pretty much I just take my uh, economic courses and everything that I've learned, um, business and all yeah. that, and I transferred it to WoW. Right. And I pretty much run the economy I mean, that's over how there. you – that's exactly how anybody – like anybody who is actually good at these games. I mean that's like – in Log Horizon, like it's literally like three accountants who fucking are running the entire world in that game. You know, like – you know, that's – yeah, he who runs the economy has the big nose, you know. I mean, I'm not saying how much I have. I'm just okay now, right? I'm well off, I guess. Um, but I, I, uh, I'm gonna have to ask you for in, in, advice. Um, because I'm trying to get into investing. That's my slow motion homicide. I'm not a financial. <laughs> I'm not a financial advisor. So what's it that's called? good. I, I don't want. Suggest... I don't want a financial advisor. I want somebody who takes big risks and does crazy shit. <laughs> and I'm has their ear big, to the ground. Like, if I was a big risk person, I'd probably be a lot more than what I am. Or at least I have a chance to be. I'm not a big risk kind well, You of have a lot more money than I do. Well, that's because I go with uh, a little more safe and guaranteed amount. Mm. But it still, um, still turns a good profit. But what's it called? As I'm trying to say, back to what I was trying to originally say. The reason is uh, the slow motion suicide is because... Uh, it was about, I was putting in 21 hours every day and three hours of sleep for two weeks. Two whole fucking weeks. And if I didn't do something crazy as that, I would have actually have not gotten them out. I finally did. Uh, because And now we took a picture of everybody with the mount. Uh, with the exception of like two or three people and whatnot. Now... Digi, mm-hmm. let's get this into your head. Yeah. To to tell the scope of this. Now, imagine you're on a server of tens of thousands of people. There's this quest line to get you the mount. How many people do you think got the mount? I'm um, like 50. What if I told you this screenshot had all but three? And I just sent it. Amazing. That's even less than 50. Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's a pretty good mount. Around, tw- around fourteen people got this shit, and it will never be available again. All right. If we ever want to draw new <laughs> listeners to this podcast, we cannot continue to talk about World of Warcraft mounts. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but the slow motion suicide is that. I pretty much had to work my ass off. I spent all the gold that I farmed for like six months, Damn. give or take, and uh, I started selling shit that I didn't want to sell. I'm like 6,000 gold in debt, what, which what I would, just earned back. <clears throat> what would I have to do to get you to give me money? I already do. You give me money through what? Uh, Patreon? D- did you not notice? I, I have a lot. I have like a thousand patrons. I don't... Uh, keep track of all of them i keep track of the ones who are like constantly ask me for things yeah i just am one of those silent those are the those are the the, you're like part of the the good the the like core the the people who i just believe in you know like i don't need to know who they are i just believe in their souls out there you know i send the vibes i'm all about the witchcraft you see i have to send my vibes through the ether to the to my people and anybody who is still patroning me, even though I owe them, like, a lot of money in rants. I mean, there's a lot... There's some people that I patron. I may not believe in their ideas or anything like that. Yeah. I just patron them because I see a lot of passion and a lot of potential. Yeah. And they need to be lifted up off the ground yes. to get in I it. The same. That's I mean, pretty much all the people I patron are people who are not... 
uh, like they're all people who are either at my level or below in terms of like how much they're making or like right above where it's not like I'm not going to patron somebody who's making fucking Chapo Trap House money. Like, fuck that, you know, <laughs> but like I do patron the dick show, even though he makes like 22 grand a fucking month just because I w- actually I'll want probably content, put a but. link uh, to show when to skip the World of Warcraft thing. But yeah, well, as I was trying to say, <laughs> back to what I was saying. Well, yeah. Pretty much, my guild went against me. In fact, my guild actually helped a different guild out and didn't help me until the, like, very fucking end. Like, the very last thing. But, what's it called? Yeah, I literally had to hire other guilds to help me. And that's why it costed about 20,000 gold. Imagine hiring about 40 people. But, <laughs> to do the work for me. I'm like a... Um, I'm a I, when I played uh, Terra online... Did you ever play any Terra... I've heard a lot about it from You get some to play friends, as a lolly. But... That's the appeal of the game. Um I played That's not what they were saying. <laughs> but okay. I played as a lolly with a big sword. Uh I fucking tore through the whole game playing solo. Um but there were titles in the game and there was only two that I wanted. Those Jesus Christ sounds like you just took a fucking piss right into the microphone. <laughs> now I'm pouring the soda inside the uh little bit of alcohol that was left um so. i there were two titles i wanted and they were fashionista and uh <laughs> goldfather because um goldfather was like you get it from just saving like you know having a certain amount of gold and i was very determined but i was not investing my gold i was just not spending it and the game honestly was easy enough that you did not need to spend it you know like that's basically how I've lived my real life as well, is, like, real life is easy. You don't have to spend your money until I put myself in a situation where I spent too much money and then was like, oh, I should have been investing all this, and then I would still have money yep. after having spent it. So, uh, Yeah, real life works a little differently than inside uh, games. Uh, I mean, the biggest difference of real life... because you can really fuck up games. real life and you can't really fuck up a game. That's the difference. No, that's actually Unless not it's like Demon Souls. Difference. Like, you can fuck up that no. game, but... No, that's not even the difference. The difference is, inside a game, you can just go out and farm materials and all that shit, and that's no problem. You're not doing that in real life. Well, you can, you can, uh, you can kind of do that if you do you things can. like pallet buying, where you just like... Okay, yes. You can do that, yeah. but realistically, that's not 99.99% of people right. in the world. So, as I'm trying to say, is like you're not going to be doing that. Mm. What you need to focus on in real life is learning how to make your money work for you and have compound interest and shit like that. Invest in a lot of different uh, kind of things. Uh, some that Name are more few. risky, some that are... Name a few for <laughs> me. I, I have crypto. I, I, what else should I have? <laughs> I have only a little bit in crypto, and that's because I got into it really early on. Oh, well, that's good. Um, that's a good place to be. Right like, now. yeah, I mean, what's it called? I've seen that it's actually been going up in price. I don't know if it's... Crypto, uh, there's been a much. big surge uh, lately. Uh, I have, like, I yeah. bought into Chainlink, so I'm waiting for that to moon. I bought into crypto around, like, Bitcoin back when it was about... I don't know. Like you should check what your crypto is worth right now because it's probably worth more than it was last time you looked. I looked like um, a, a week ago. Okay. Well, then you're probably uh, on the right page. BTC to USD. Now, it's dropped. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> it's still, uh, what's it called? I've still made a massive profit. Yeah. I mean, from constantly buying and selling it throughout the times that I've used uh, Bitcoin and whatnot, I'd say. The profit margin has been somewhere around 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, somewhere around. God that. damn. All right. Well, what what else do you invest in though? Like just I don't need to know like exact things, just like broad categories, like stocks. Oh, I talk or... mostly to my financial advisor. How much does it cost to have a financial advisor? Uh, it depends. It really depends. What's it called? The one I have uh is I don't even pay except uh, it pays in a percentage of money that it makes. Okay. So the better the the reason I like this is the better they invest the money, the more money they make. Right. So they actually have an incentive to not fuck this money up. That's really that's interesting. Um, do they so have like a baseline I, I have, of the amount of money you need to have as an income for them to manage you, sort of thing? Um, they have something along the lines of uh, they will 
take they will eat the cost of what they fuck up for a good like <clears throat> three months, give or take. Okay. So if they, it, I pretty much uh, just have other uh, like people that their entire job is just doing that. Right. Is there like a baseline that you have to have in your bank for them to be able to like fuck around with though before they will take you as a client? Oh, um, I guess um, because they don't really do this with like small. I mean, I I heard their minimum is somewhere around like fifty thousand or something like okay. that. Okay, I don't have that much money. <laughs> but yeah, uh, back to what uh, uh, we're all talking about. Let's get uh, to the two questions. Actually, three. But what's it called? Digi. Yeah. I've had this question. In fact, this question comes from all my podcast members, including me. Yeah. Your autism video. Yes. <laughs> the legendary which, video. Which one, actually? Okay. The one where you're like... Is it like, Autism Explained? Uh, the one with the whiteboard? Yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, yes, where it's like uh, still entirely autism true. Like by a, the way, I stand by everything. Autism's said like a spaceship. Actually, scratch that. Autism's like a cookie. <laughs> 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 okay, so we got to the end while we were doing a stream on it and laughing our asses off. Like, like it, one of the best fucking videos you put out. Not the best, but it's one of the. Thank you. It's up there. We we had a question. Was the entire purpose of that video just to lead up to the end where you shit on Darling in the Bronx and to say you have better taste than other anime fans? No. I'm sure that was actually <laughs> completely unplanned. I think that was probably just like, I need a way to end this video. Let's just shit on Darling in the Franks. Like, Oh my god. We fucking all laughed because it sounded like everything was leading up <laughs> just to make that... Freaking, maybe I like, had it. Maybe I had line. thought about it from the start, but like I just know that I had wanted to make the video regardless. Like my autism research had been going on for a while at that point. So you've been autistic about autism. Yes, autism <laughs> is my tism. <laughs> Ironically, I've taught myself how to not be autistic through my amount of communication with autistic people because I study. I study mm. all the ways. I study all the um, what are they, what's it called? Stuck. You know how pe like autistic people you get stuck. That's what happens. And I've studied the ways that we all get stuck. And I'm studying the ways that I get stuck right now. Like I've been stuck in YouTube and stuck on Twitter, even though they're both horribly abusive relationships that I should be leaving. But you know, mm -hmm. uh, but we'll find the way. We'll all find a way. Nice. It's called the all blockchain. Right. That's the way. The fucking blockchain <laughs> okay, is Steve God. Shives. Okay, Steve Shives. All right. Now, I have two more questions. These two were submitted. One by Anonymous. Uh, they didn't want to be named. So. Follow Voting is Racist Digi on Twitter. And <laughs> <laughs> Digi and Unknown. Uh, you could just call me Six, by the way. Six. Is that what you like to be called? Yes. It's been my nickname for... I don't know, 12 years. What? How, how do you called? spell that? Six with the letter or the number. Okay. <laughs> what's it called? So you're even saying. less than Cyrano. What's Cyrano? Cyrano's nine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so when it comes down to it, uh, let me read. <clears throat> Ditchy and unknown. Will y'all ever, because this is a ripoff of ISMA, Invite Mumpkey on if he wants to come on. I mean, it wouldn't be us inviting him if he wanted to come on. That would just be him asking to come on. So the question is, would we you let heard? Mumpkey on if he wanted to come on? Uh, I guess it would depend on how he pitched it, you know? Is it like... Oh, man, I'd, I'd completely be for Monkey coming on. I mean, it, it, would, <laughs> it would ideally... Like, there's a way it could be where it would be like, yeah, sick. You know? Oh, man, that would be amazing. But it could also be a fucking train wreck, which would be even better. So absolutely, <laughs> Monkey should definitely come on if he wanted to. I don't think he would, though. Hello, everybody! Let's welcome I don't think, on Monkey! I don't think Monkey's ready to admit that he's trans. That's why I don't think he would come on this podcast. He's a monkey. He is a trans monkey. <laughs> yeah. I heard he's also trans black, but mm, that's to be questioned. Mm. But what's it called? <laughs> All right. So, there's one last question. 
<clears throat> and this comes from uh, a caller. <clears throat> they told me to put on a voice for this. Accurate. From Don Julio. You fucking mad, did you? Nah. I fucking go and go and watch this fucking video. And then you go and say, we're all alcoholics. I tell you, from my Scottish heritage, I'm not a fucking alcoholic. I have not drinking a wee bit of alcohol in the past five years. And the other time I drank, it was only the sip of God. So I don't know what you're fucking talking about, you fucking track. Let's just end. I represent the entire unknown community. We're not fucking alcoholics. Now let me go drink water from Russia. Russia? (laughs) (laughs) That's all he said. Jesus fucking Christ. Debating things now. Should we start having Twitter arguments? Hey, come on. Does he not sound like. I mean, he sounds like the most genuine person ever. He's not an alcoholic. I believe. <laughs> I believe it. I believe everything <laughs> Don Julio says. All right. Let's fucking. Right, so. Let's fucking go. Next. Uh, let's get into the arguments. Revenge porn. Now, Diddy, there's been this controversy about revenge porn recently, and I wanted to ask you, do you uh, like, a lot of people are saying whether he did or didn't do revenge porn. This is Ethan Rao. Yeah. I'm sure you know this person. I do. And I don't think we're even asking the right question, whether he did or didn't do it. I think the better question is, is revenge porn even good or bad? Okay. Do you have a stance on this? Well, yes, I do. All right. Let's hear it. So, I think revenge porn is just morally neutral. Okay. It can't be a good or bad thing. It so you completely, on how you the question it. was, is it good or bad? And your answer is, no. I'm an anarchy. <laughs> I'm an anarchist. What can okay. I say? <laughs> so, when it comes down to it, is it good or bad? I say it's morally neutral. Now, let's see this, Digi. If all of a sudden this girl just goes on to Twitter and you have like this badass persona and then she goes, your dick's small, uh, you don't please me, uh, you don't do shit. And it's like, well, you know that's not true. You have a video of it. So what if you just post this whole video to show that she is You're lying? just defending yourself well, in that... the court of public opinion. Yeah, you're just defending yourself. And when it comes down to it, it's like, yeah, look at there. Your, your, your uh, honor, observe. Like, let the record show this bitch wrong. Yeah. So when it comes down to it, I don't think it can Not be... Not just wrong. I don't think lying, it can be bad. in fact. Yeah, so she's just lying. She was literally begging for it. And it's like, it's literally all she was praying for. Yeah. It's like, how can this be bad? I don't see a way this could be bad. In fact, I'm going to go on a limb here and say it can almost... 100% of the time be good. In fact, I think it can be good. So is it morally neutral or is it good? It's morally neutral to begin with, but it on- <laughs> uh, but it usually ends up to be good. All right. <laughs> In fact, I think it's actually good right. now because when it comes down to it, this is why. Digi? Yeah. Do you have a chair? I'm in a chair. Have you ever posted a picture of your chair? Yes. Now, is that revenge porn? On whom? On the chair. I would say that the chair... No. Yeah. It can't be revenge porn because it's a goddamn chair. Yes, thank you. And because of this, (laughs) I don't think we can have revenge porn on objects. (laughs) So to get this whole idea that women can even have revenge porn of them, I don't think it's possible because all women are objects. Not only is it not bad for the reasons I stated, but I don't even think it's possible. Like, you can have, like, male-on-male revenge porn, but it's like, seriously, who's going to lie about that when you're a male? Lying is the domain of women, and upfront confrontation is the domain of man. That's literally the two genders. Okay, look. 
here's why revenge porn is bad. You have to look at this from a semiotic angle, okay? I already lost this argument. I, like, I'm just thinking about it, and I'm like, <laughs> wait, how can I win being on the porn is fucking... All right, let me rethink this for a second. Semiotics is not the approach we want to take, unless we're talking about interior semiotics. If you don't know what that means, look it up. You will be glad you did. Uh, <laughs> so, revenge porn is bad because women be shopping. And when she moves on, she can just use this as leverage against, like, like okay. So, if you're on the cot carousel, right? You're like... As most objects yes, are. Yes. If you're riding the cot carousel, your goal is... See... People like to think of the cock carousel as though it's just a bunch of horses going around in a circle, right? But have you ever seen like a, a multi-tiered jerk. carousel? One of the ones that has two floors? I'm, I've power scaled them before, so yeah. So those ones are power... What does that mean? You climbed it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, only the power scaling community would get oh, that multi-tier. Okay. Uh... <laughs> The, 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 it's a two story fucking carousel, right? There was one of these in the mall near where I lived as a kid. And if you want to ride that cock carousel, it's not just about making your way from horse to horse. It's about getting to that second floor. You got to get up to the, the horses that are above are the other horses. Are you trying to say kids should ride the cock carousel? No, 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 no. Nobody should ride the cock carousel. You have to stop these bitches. Good. These women be shopping is what I'm trying to say, right? They want to make That's it. That's another reason why revenge <laughs> porn is good. It will discourage them to. Uh, let me be let me ask you something, carousel. unknown otaku six. You yes. have less than a million dollars. Would you consider yourself to be on the upper rung of the carousel or on the bottom rung? Somewhere in the okay. middle. Okay, well, that means you're on the bottom rung because there is no middle. There's only two floors. If you're not confident enough <laughs> to say that you're on the top rung and you're on the bottom rung of the carousel, you might be the last horse on the bottom rung right before you go up the stairs. When you're trying to get to the top, then you're trying to hop your way from the, the, the horse that's the farthest from the staircase to the horse that's the closest to the staircase, you know? Like, women who don't realize that they are on a two-story carousel because they've never seen the staircase, they're just like, oh, I'm going to go around in circles on this fucking carousel. But no, you got to be trying to make it to the second floor because once you're up there, then the horses are just much more comfortable. You know, they're not grinding on your cunt the whole fucking time. So, like... They have, like, a cabbie seat that you can, like, sit in, and you don't even have to fucking take cock, you know? You just get paid to be hot. So, like, you you want to get to the second floor, but, you know, you you have to hop your way up. Well, if you are one of the horses on the bottom, and you don't want to go to the top because you're like, well, I don't want to ride the cock carousel up this fucking thing. It's the only way up. Like, you're either born on the top or you have to ride the cock carousel to get there. So you're like, all right, <clears throat> I'm just, I'm fine down here. Fuck that. I'm not riding dick. But I want a girl to stay on my horse. I don't want her to go to the next horse. So how do I keep this bitch from going to the next horse? And you think I'll release... This pornography of her. You repeal the 19th. I'll release this pornography of her, and that will lower her sexual desirability. But that is the exact opposite. You have made her hotter shit. Now, also, you've made yourself hotter shit. So, hopefully, it, you can fuck this. That sounds another reason why it's good. It made yourself hot as shit. More girls will come after you. And the well, more I, girls I agree with your original your statement status. that it is overall a neutral. It's a over overall baseline. It's a neutral, but it skews bad because, sure, you'll have other bitches who are nicer than the bitch you had who will come and sit on your horse, but you will also see that bitch up there on that second horse on that second story, and you'll think. I could have I could have just dumped her without releasing the revenge porn and she wouldn't have had any like I could have found another way to get a hotter chick on my horse without putting this bitch all the way up there. You know? This just sounds like the stupidity of the person that released it. I mean, you're supposed to release it if for some reason she jumped from yours to a different one. Right. Like this isn't like a fault on revenge porn. This is a fault on the person releasing it. Okay. Well, we'll have to let the audience decide if they think revenge <laughs> porn is good or bad. I 
I have a feeling I know what the results will be, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, audience, we'll let you decide whether or not you want to be allowed to release videos of any girl that fucks you. Well, only if they break up with you, right? It's only revenge porn if you're getting revenge for something. <laughs> no, I, I don't know if that's what it was in a court of law. Really? Hmm. But I, I'm not familiar with that too much. All right, so... <clears throat> Talking about controlling, we'll have to go to the next topic, porn control. Now, I've heard a lot of arguments on whether or not we need porn control to control all the porn and Mm. everything. I'd say yes. Okay. What do you say? I think that's an interesting stance for somebody who thinks that revenge porn is good to take. Yes, I believe we need to have control of porn. Now, when it comes down to it, when you are wanting to go shopping and everything, you want to pick out exactly what you want. But imagine you control it. So, if you go to Pornhub, you can type in whatever you want. You want this actress to star in this kind of uh, porn okay. doing this kind of I thing. See what you're saying. So, <laughs> so, when you control everything about porn. <laughs> Like this is like the best option. No, yet. this is terrible. Get... This is fucking terrible. Okay, <laughs> you're you're arguing for the subway sandwiches of pornography. Fuck that. You ever go there? I fucking hate subway. You go in. I love subway. They have subway. a fucking list. They have a list of sandwiches that are on the wall that are like here, fucking Cajun chicken sandwich, right? And you're like, all right, give me the Cajun chicken one. They're like, what do you want on it? I want what it's in the fucking picture. They don't know what it is. They never know what it is. Now, granted, that, part of that's the because fuck they. What the subway do you go to? Because I, I, what's it called? They know what's inside. Do they the speak English at your subways? Where do yes. you live? That's not important. All right. Well, <laughs> where I live, they're all from the Middle East, so it's kind of difficult to communicate. <laughs> uh, and, and not, not nothing against those people, but it's people. difficult to have a conversation with somebody whose English is not very good and who doesn't really understand why you are asking them what's in the picture because they have only been trained to ask you what you want on your sub. I don't know what tastes good in combination. I don't... I like to try the thing that you think okay, I'm, no, here's that the thing, is a good combination of flavors. When I was in the I'm military, the I used chef. to go... I don't know about that. When I was back in the military, I would always go to Subway sandwiches every once in a while. I would grab so many things because I know exactly what I would want. I would go up and it's like, yeah, I want this. I want that. and want that. And 20 ingredients later, I'd have like the ultimate fucking sandwich. Were you one of those? um, Were you the kind of kid who just like mixes all the condiments together? No, but I did mix all the sodas together. I was never like that. I'm I'm a plain. I all growing up, I was plain cheeseburger, just just I'm cheese and vanilla. burger. That was me. Well, I'm not vanilla anymore. But you see, the problem is that I have to learn how, what goes good together. I can't learn that. I've never from been someone plain who, cheeseburger in even inside school. You know, we have. Uh, you know, it goes. It, this is the simple life. It goes bun, lettuce, tomato, and then the uh, chicken patty. Uh, and then ketchup, fries, and then sherbet ice cream, oh, and then you put the bun no. again. You know, it, it's just the the simple life of how you, to eat a burger. Mm. I want to kill myself after hearing that. <laughs> it ta- it 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 tastes so much better than it sounds. Trust me. Try it. Are you serious about the sherbet ice cream on the chicken? You have to only put a little bit. You're really serious. Who knows. <laughs> Try Question it. of the century. How about you try it, and it's a grilled chicken. I'll, I'll Google it, uh, and if I get any results, I'll try it. <laughs> it's a concoction I made up a long mm. time ago. A long time ago, as in 10 min- seconds ago, when you said it for the first time ever. No, a long time ago, as in when I was like eight. Okay. <laughs> I'll believe you're serious in that case. I was never an experimenter until I grew up. I was, I was very... I had a. This is why I have not invested until now. You see, I had a very milk toast upbringing. You know, 
Oh, so I, I do, I've made the video in defense of vanilla. I'm sure you've seen that. So. Yes. And you pretty much took the stance of vanilla is a flavor. It's not, uh, it was like, what's it called? It's kind of. It's kind of like how people see vanilla as plain instead of just another right. flavor, and yet they don't see chocolate and strawberry this is as the like a this plain This is the difference, flavor. I think, between S and M, right? Are you are you an S or an M? Definitely an S. Okay, I thought so. This is an S <laughs> wants control, an M wants loss of control deliberately. So I think this is the impasse we find ourselves at. Okay, so vote for Digi if you're an yes. M, and vote for me if yes. you're an S. I get the feeling your audience <laughs> probably identifies more as being an S, but uh, anybody with a real set of stones knows that being an M is a lot harder, and therefore more fun. So if you enjoy cock and ball torture, vote for Digi. It doesn't have to if go that far. <laughs> Nipple torture. If you enjoy nipple torture, vote for Digi. Whatever. <laughs> I don't even know. We're back to the poor... What was your stance on the poor control act? The opposite of yours. <laughs> you just said... Whatever yours was. Is, you just said fuck Subway. I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, my stance on porn control is if you have too much control over your porn, then you won't be able to have any unique experiences. Like... No, I disagree. You have the most unique sp- experiences if you have so much control. But you can, you can like, only create called? scenarios that you could imagine. You can't create a scenario that somebody else could imagine that you never would have come up with by yourself. No, you can always ask like, all the All these weird – you think I would have just become into Guro of my own accord? No. Someone had to mind fuck me into being into that. Like – so someone had to spoon feed you. You're pr- pro spoon feeding. Well, that's what being an M is, right? Is you are the little spoon. There has to be a big spoon and a little spoon, right? You can't have two no, S's just like Jordan just Peterson the shit out of said, each other. Take in charge of your life. Go and make your own decisions. It's okay if you fuck up every once in a while. Just go and do it and ex- experiment, you know? I mean, I do that. And this is why but, I uh, control his daughter. But, like, you can do... Okay, there's a difference between every experience I have, I have to have full control and customization. And, like, I am going to give myself over to what other people are capable of. Like, if you want to eat nice food, you could become a chef, but it's going to take you, like, all fucking day to make a dish that you want that's, like, actually high class. That's going to have How to be... How bad are you at cooking? What kind of dish are we talking about? Like, you know, I watched Josh Wiseman on YouTube. That motherfucker, he's like, oh, I'm going to make a bowl of ramen. Like, you got to make stock for fucking 12 hours. Like, you know. I mean, what's it called? I I guess it's just me because I was uh, living with a professional chef for about four to five years. Do you sleep? So I pretty much You seem like a motherfucker who doesn't sleep. No, I don't. How many (laughs) hours a night do you sleep? Um... Recently, because I just finished the thing, I finally went up to about 10. Okay. But once I get back into my normal swing, I'm going to go back down to about 4 to 5. Right. Okay. Well, that's not too that's not too crazy. You f- you seem to fill your time with things though. Oh yeah. Uh I I do nothing but learn new skills and uh read up on shit. I wish I and could play be games. So based. <laughs> All right, we have to ask ourselves a more important question. Are traps real? Because no. people are constantly saying, like, are traps gay? But there's a, a camp that says that traps only exist in anime, that they don't exist in real life. And you think, do you, is that what you think? You think that traps don't exist in real life? No, uh, my stance is that they don't even exist in anime. Okay. <laughs> because as I learned from my overlord, the pedantic romantic, is that traps don't even exist. Because what we conventionally know as a trap, uh, what people try and trick you into sex and whatnot, you know, I have actually never seen that play out in any anime. What or about hentai. Gankutsuo episode two? I've never seen it play out in any anime or hentai. In episode two of Gankutsuo, Peppo. Who looks like a girl, uh, tries to fuck the main character on a park bench, and then he finds yes, out that Peppo's is- a boy, and he goes, "Oh fuck, 
I've been duped, and Peppo also gets him like kidnapped by gang mapper- members, and uh, because he's a rich kid. Wait, wait, is that the Goosh Goosh anime? Goosh Goosh. We're talking. You know what? <laughs> if you don't know what the Goosh Goosh anime is. It probably isn't it. <laughs> <laughs> look up Gonkutsuo. Uh, did he? It's a Gonzo okay, show from like Gon- 2006. Hold on. Gonkutsu. Oh. oh. It's the count. It's the count Go-kutsu. of Mo- It's the count of Monte Cristo adaptation. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I know what yeah. that is. Then. Sorry, All that right. took me so long the to count. remember the easy way to explain that. But yeah. Okay. So I don't know if that happens in the Count the of Monte Cristo book, but like he literally falls for a trap, and like. Ah, uh, okay. That's a little different than the trap having the specific goal to go out and trick them. I think she like explicitly is like, yeah, I dress as a girl so I can trap men to steal their money for this gang. No, that's to steal their money. They're not uh, out there to specifically go fuck. Okay, them. so it's not a trap unless their goal is just specifically to make them fuck them as a woman not realizing they have a penis. This usually encompasses giving them head first. Okay. I know Yes. And now I mean you don't you I don't have to count. be you don't have to be a trap to get that to happen by the way. Cuz like if if there's anything I've learned from gay guys, it's that straight guys will let you suck their dick. So straight with big air quotes around it, I guess, but you know, really big yeah, air quotes. Huge fucking But air what's quotes. it called? Now that I looked up that, you have to look up Goosh Goosh. Okay, how do I spell that? Um, Hold on, let me type it. I think it's Goosh Goosh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, G-U-S-H, G-U-S-H. If you type in anime Goosh Goosh. Well, actually, you know, Goosh Goosh can come up as G-O-O-S-H. Um, all I get is a bunch of pornography, just like random porn. <laughs> it's actually an anime. It's not porn. I'm not getting it. I'm just all right. Let's go to Google. I was on DuckDuckGo, which you know, you pretend you like, but you don't. Uh, is it this big lip motherfucker? Oh, is this the is this the yes. shit from? No, it says buppa from legends of the multiverse wiki no th- yeah this is from this is from what? tokyo tribe i've seen this shit yes. the guy who just like fucking uh because i don't even remember if it was girls or boys but he just like rapes and kills people constantly he's just like this big motherfucker who just like fucks he just like because i remember in episode one he just like comes inside of i think just like a shota or something and then fucking like comes in him so hard it kills him or something. He was fucking girls and boys, if I remember correctly. I just remember that one meme fucking thing that was going around with the Goosh Goosh. And I never actually watched the show. In fact, I've, uh, I need to watch the rest. I of have it. it on my plan to watch for like I've three years. I've only seen the first episode. Then, uh, every time, and all I remember is that scene. Like, <laughs> and, uh, every time someone says, hey, you want to watch this on your plan to watch? I'm like, eh. Let's just watch something else. And it was like, you know what? That's the one anime I keep putting off yeah. that I'm probably never actually going to watch. I mean, the show is basically Japan, like a Japanese person tried to present Japanese. I agree. It is definitely Japan. <laughs> it's like someone tried to portray the Yakuza as though they were American black gangsters. And it's uh, really funny. And it's also like crazy over the top. Well, it makes sense now. Yeah. All right. So this guy from tra- our traps. What is your stance on traps? Uh, traps are definitely real. And I know that because I am one. I. Who's going to be trapped by you? I already trapped. Name. I trapped somebody already. Maybe. I pretended to be a boy. <laughs> 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 I have spent I've trapped a lot of fucking people into my audience 
And I mean, if you if you weren't stupid and you knew, you saw the signs. I mean, I've been saying from day one that like, yeah, I've had gender identity issues forever. Yeah, I don't really identify as a guy, but I oh have. God, I did see your unlisted podcast that you know I was in because I donated a super chat to about four to five years ago, where you're actually talking about this. Both, both <laughs> of the women that I have been with in oh my, my life. We're both closet lesbians, if not non-binary <laughs> closet trans men. And the first one was not ever going to be able to admit that because her dad was a KKK member. Um, Sounds great. And she was like, I can't abandon my dad. And I was like, well, fuck you then. Uh, but uh, my second, you know, my wife, who is now my husband – is Digibro. And I trapped them into becoming Digibro. I ins- I, br- I brought them into the Digi Collective. I assimilated them like a like a like a Borg or a slime. And I will assimilate you all next. That's what I'm here to do. You thought this was just some funny little kooky show that Digine and the Otaku do, and the next thing you know, oh fuck, I can't live my life without hearing Digine's voice. Oh my god, I can't get hard without hearing Digine's voice. What do I fucking do? I don't do? think anyone's. How do I live my fucking life if I can't do anything without hearing Digine's voice? And then you come, big load. That's Damn. the trap. I don't know if that's more of a trap or a delusion. Uh, what's the difference? Have you ever played Toho? You're right. Yes, you I know, have. There's, there's no a difference. Lot. The trap is the delusion. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I still find Toho amazing in the sense of the early games were all made by one person. It's incredible. Every part about it. The music's amazing. The character designs are amazing. Uh, the dialogue is schizophrenic. I, I don't. If I if I could read the credits, I would assume the credits would look something like, blah 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 blah, made by this person. Blah blah blah, blah made by the same person. Blah blah blah. blah all it's Zoom. It would just look like yeah, Zoom Zoom Zoom. Oh man, I, I would assume the credits would uh be all the same, but I can't read. Just in general, I can't read. Damn, can't even read the Ugh. letters. Well, I guess the uh, your answer is traps are not real because because there's never been one in fiction or real life. Okay. And my stance is that traps are real because I am a successful trap. Um I said it in my song Tunneling. I grew this beard to pick up the ladies, pussy trim it out all my crazy. If you didn't know what it meant at the time, now you know. I know there's a, a LARPer that tries to act like they're a trap. It's called is uh, Dimitri Monroe? No, Dimitri Monroe is a weird switch. No, is he... Is Dimitri Monroe, I guess, a a masochist, but who's like, yeah... I might look like a girl, but hmm, I'm a boy, so if you want to fuck me, you have to be gay, bitch. And, like, I think that's the challenge, you know? It's like, are you a bad enough dude to fuck a man? A bad enough dude? <laughs> are you a bad enough dude to fuck a man in a dress, you know? I mean, as long as that dress is the SS uniform. It would be if it was Dimitri, Dimitri Monroe. Hold on. Uh, no, 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 it wouldn't be, uh, uh, I, I need to type the last name as well. No, 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 it's not the SS uniform. I don't have these photos on hand. What uniform is that? It's just a normal military uniform. Would you fuck (laughs) Dimitri Monroe? I can't confirm or deny. Would you be the top or the bottom? Uh, that is an easy question. Definitely not the bottom. Have you fucked Dimitri Monroe? No. Okay. I'll believe you for now. Back to what I was saying. Uh, 
I honestly don't know where this was going. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so um, don't forget to vote if Dijine was spaced or based as well as me. Um, I know there was something else. Um, because we're not an hour yet. We I my says one hour and four minutes. I see fourteen minutes. Fourteen minutes. It obviously hasn't only been fourteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because we get about five, six, seven minutes of dead space cut out every single time. <laughs> fair, fair. Uh, fair. Digi. Yes. Now, when it comes down to it, there's a lot of things said. Now, what do you think about cult of personalities? Are they good or bad? Cult of personalities, I think they're definitely bad. Mm. Jesus I mean, got nailed to a cross and impaled through the chest. It'll happen to you. Don't try it. <laughs> but then that is the only... Like, here's the thing. I say it's good. Digi, you're talking about cults of personalities and you say Jesus as an example, right? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. You may have died, but you will be long lived and remembered in everyone's hearts, worshipped and religified. Yeah, you know what they're going to do with my legacy? Jerk off to lollies? No, they're going to fuck children. They're going to build (laughs) structures by which they can use my name to fuck children. That's what they're going to do. (laughs) <laughs> I don't know about you, based. that sounds pretty base. <laughs> oh there man, I love the gay avatar meme. There are people I want to be friends with who won't be friends with me because of jokes like that one, but I, I, I give a toast. I don't know. The the idea that because every single person will die, but not every single p- person will have a legacy to leave that will incite a whole bunch of people to religiously follow them. Mhm. I don't know. Cult of personality seem nothing but good even if the religion is for evil or everything like that. You will still be remembered and remarked in history. Do you consider yourself a cult of personality? No. No? Uh, do you consider I've never me seen a cult of personality? One. Yeah, you definitely have one. Do you think I will be remembered after I die? Definitely. I think you'll... How uh, long? Leave... How long? Um, it depends on how long uh, it takes for you to die. Okay. If all of a sudden you died tomorrow, I'm pretty sure your effects... On at the very least, AnyTube, if somehow it's still alive, will be lasted for at least like 200, 300 years, give or take. AnyTube will last 200. I don't think. I, I think we'll be brains in like a supercomputer by 200, 300 years from now. I'm expecting by like 2040 to be, I don't know, uploading something to the cloud, some part of my personal. I'm expecting somewhere around like 2035 to have. Um, Sword Art Online be real. I yeah, that seems fair. Uh, like that could be a debate. In, including the actual being trapped in it and all that, right? You know what? That could be a topic for uh, next time when we take a time travel to the future. Whether or not Sword Art oh, Online boy. is boy. Are we gonna <laughs> go back to the future? We did it once. We'll do it again. Oh yes, we definitely did it once. <laughs> As this is a trending topic, uh, girls go to the future versus men going to the future. Oh, yes. We'll see what comes of it. <laughs> It'll be Until it. next time, we, we're remember in... to submit <laughs> your questions and videos and voice recordings, whatever you yes. want. You heard the Unknown Otaku. Submit. <laughs> submit to me. Now, as always, I bid you do. Thanks for watching. Hey. Bye. Bye.